Benjamin Weikers, 10 Books That Screwed Up the World and 5 Others That Didn't Help, offers a provocative exploration of influential texts and their societal impact. Weicker navigates through history, dissecting writings that he believes have significantly shaped destructive ideologies and contrasting them with texts offering potential remedies or counterpoints. The book is structured around ten books that Weicker argues have had profoundly negative consequences. Among these is Machiavelli's The Prince, which Weicker condemns for its cynical approach to power, advocating manipulation and deceit for political gain. Another is Rousseau's The Social Contract, criticized for laying the groundwork for totalitarianism by championing the subjugation of individual will to the general will of the state. Weicker's analysis of Marx's The Communist Manifesto highlights its role in promoting class warfare and the suppression of individual freedoms, ultimately leading to oppressive communist regimes. He also targets works like Nietzsche's Beyond Good and Evil, which challenges traditional morality, and Darwin's The Descent of Man, accused of justifying racism and eugenics through the lens of evolutionary theory. The book's strength lies in Weicker's ability to articulate the ways in which these texts contributed to societal shifts and detrimental ideologies. He doesn't merely condemn the authors but delves into the core ideas propagated by these works and their repercussions. However, some critics argue that Weicker's analysis might oversimplify complex historical contexts and the multifaceted influences these books exerted. In contrast, Weicker also examines five texts he believes offer solutions or counterarguments to the damaging ideologies propagated by the aforementioned works. Among these is the Bible, which he sees as advocating transcendent moral values and individual worth, countering the dehumanization inherent in some of the other texts. He also highlights the positive societal impact of works like Aristotle's Ethics, which promotes the pursuit of virtue and personal flourishing. Weicker champions Chesterton's orthodoxy for its defense of traditional values and G.K. Chesterton's ability to dismantle destructive ideologies by promoting a more balanced and humane worldview. Additionally, he praises Hayek's The Road to Serfdom for its critique of collectivism and the dangers of centralized planning, advocating instead for individual freedom and limited government intervention. However, some critics note a potential bias in Weicker's selection of texts that didn't help, arguing that his choices might reflect personal preferences rather than objective evaluations of their societal impact. Moreover, while Weicker offers compelling counterpoints to the damaging ideologies presented, the brevity of his analysis for the helpful texts might leave readers wanting more depth and exploration of their contributions. Overall, Ten Books That Screwed Up the World and Five Others That Didn't Help is a thought-provoking read that stimulates critical thinking about the power of ideas and the profound influence literature can have on shaping societal values. Weicker's work serves as a launching pad for discussions about the ethical, philosophical, and political implications of influential writings throughout history, inviting readers to engage with these texts in a more discerning manner.